Hello Gen people, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make a quick video today about how I carve eyes and especially the tree ways. Tree ways I do mine. I prepared some faces here. Two from what I call the flat and then the one from, you know, the 90 degree, how I usually carve my little Vikings. And the tree ways that I basically carve my eyes are, I think, mostly, I usually go with the flow, but related to the nose that I carve, but you will see what I'm talking about later. The first and easiest way is basically the closed eyes, as you can see with uh, these little guys here. It's literally two cuts and then the eyes are closed. <laughs> That's it. I usually do that when I screwed up a little thing or if I don't really want to bother about painting them or something like this. There's the other one that I call from the shelf. Uh, this is a thing that Doug Linker use a lot and Gene Messer also when they do their little characters. So if you remember the bear video that I've done, uh, that's basically the shelf. You see that there is some sort of extrusion here and then inside you do the eyes. And depending on the the size of the eyes you can make some funky faces like this this is a little squire that i carved yesterday that's the same thing with the shelf and there's the cartoon eyes what i call them this is what i use for like 99 percent of my vikings which is these more like squarish little eyes with these little wrinkle on each side i leave that on purpose this is pretty much mix and match if you want uh, depending on the nose like i said it will vary what i will usually do but as you can see here it's one of my little viking but i've done sort of like the shelf but it's not exactly like the others. So, without talking a little bit more, I will go with straight away. So I will take uh, one of the flat one to start with and we'll just do the close eyes. That would be really easy to do. So the usually one thing that I start with is to make the nose. So in the middle, make a stop cut, All right? And then I just remove the wood below. All right, so you have the bottom of your nose. Then at the top, I will just remove a little bit of wood. And then on the side, if you want a big nose, a small nose, I will do two cuts like this. This is pretty much how Gene Messer do his faces. And then on the side, I will just pop that wood. It will look pretty bad, but that's all part of the plan. All right, so we have the nose here. And from here, in an angle, you cut like so, and then you remove wood from the top. And then from there, that will create the shelf that we talk about. All right. Uh, you don't have to be uh, super precise with that thing. Removing the part of the top right here. Then let's say that I would want a little uh, haircut from that guy. I'll just shove the corner here, make it a bit rounder. Good. All right. And then from there, we'll remove that. We'll just do a little bit of this. You have to be really careful here because you're at the end of the wood so the wood is really weak if you push too hard you will break the whole thing okay video about eyes and then i'm not carving eyes yet but we're getting there okay so you see i have a front of a little haircut and for close eyes well that's as simple as one cut then you pop a little thing below and then same thing on the other side, one stop cut. And you pop a little bit of wood from below. And that's it, All right? It's probably an angry one. Without a mouth, it's hard to say if this carving is angry, happy, you know. So that's, uh, that's one way to carve what I call the closed eyes. That is pretty much it. Okay. Now, the, the normal shelf with the open eyes. 
Uh, not this one, this one. Okay. Same thing here. I will make a cut in the middle, kind of, for the nose. I will cut below. Okay, like so. Then here I will even just do the stop cut on the side. The stop cut here is just so you have a line to kind of guide your knife and uh, it helps the wood just pop itself out like this. And you can fix it a bit like that. Okay. And same thing on that side. All right. Then we'll shove the top a little bit and then create a shelf. You can always remove a bit more hair in there. Just fix the nose already. Okay, so we have the shelf, as you can see. From there, I will basically use a pencil. It's always better, and it's it really depends on what you want. But you kind of have to do a half oval. Look at your eyes. Look at uh, take your cell phone on the selfie, and then look at how if you move your eyes in a different way, what you want. But uh, let's have a little uh, funky look with this guy with a, a bigger and a smaller eye, like this. So it looks like he's kind of like looking on the side. And then what you want to do is take the tip of your knife and then go straight and follow that line. Okay, it's kind of hard for me to show. Okay, one. And then it was a bit lower than the line, but it's not a big problem. And then from there, again, the tip of your knife, you will point it in one corner, pop that thing out. You don't have to go that deep. We'll do the rest with the paint, if you paint. And you go on the other side and pop that thing again. All right? One or two times, that's good. Same thing on that side. And on that side. All right. And that's it. There we are. We have the shelf eyes. Okay. Well, then you can keep on doing the rest. And then for the cartoon eyes that I do with my Viking, uh, really simple also. Same thing again. Prepare the helmet because, um, like I said, these ones I usually do that when I have a helmet because of the side of my blade. I can't really reach to do the, the shelf normally if there's a helmet, but sometimes I have space. It all depends. I'm, uh, I'm never a hundred percent sure of what I will end up carving when I start. I prefer to really go with the flow and then sometimes you just end up making a thing a little bit different that you wanted. It was the same thing, just as a side note, same thing with this guy. When I was doing the cheeks, I realized that this one was lower than this one. So instead of like, oh damn, I'll try to fix it, I just put them out so it looks like this cheek is a bit higher and then here you go. Looks like everything was planned. So we have the nose right here. Then same thing, good cut on the side and on the side. But then I have a helmet, so that serves as a step cut. And I remove the wood in there. Good. Okay. Just pop the corner of the nose. I will uh, just do the cheek for this one because it helps me a little bit on each side. Just that thing here. Same thing on this side. So we got the cheek. So really simple. I do flat cut, cut from below a little bit. Just a little bit, all right, like this. And then in an angle, I will do another cut. 
And then you will see the cut is going below here. And that's on purpose. Then I can just remove that. Okay. So it creates this little X and I don't know why, but I really like it. If you don't want that, just be mindful of where your blade is and uh, you don't have to push too hard. And then the trick here is to try to do sort of the same thing. There we go. So that's it. As simple as that. This is the tree little style that I do. All my eyes, since I started carving them, are made like this. So this is pretty much how it is. Simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed and we will see each other in the next video. Bye bye.